Let's look at it. Rossman with the big right hand. Yaki Lopez, the good boxer. Yaki is prone to cut. This bout originally was scheduled for December, but Rossman hurt his hand in a previous bout, and it had to be postponed. I think Rossman has taken on his toughest opponent to date. Uh, Cause. Probably is, but this opponent, I think, was picked for what he can do for Rossman tonight. For him or to him? For him. <laughs> I mean, this is their intention. And, the, and I might add that a boxer type such as he will give Rossman a better chance to develop, to let loose one of his explosive bombs. Well, that's true. Two Ross minutes left in round one. I had uh, Lopez in a bout out in Indianapolis last year, and he cut around the eye. Uh, we have to see if that has any effect on him. Now, surprisingly enough, even though they call him Yaki, which is an Indian tribe's name, uh, uh, Lopez is not an Indian, he's a Mexican. And he seems to have a cut beside the right eye already, Cut. Cut. Lopez is cut beside the right, right eye. You're right. And the blood is streaming down his cheek. And this is only round one. Boston unloaded that bombing right hand. Unfortunately for Lopez, it didn't land. Oh, he's going to get cut in round one. He's going to have a tough night, Cus. I'm talking so. about Lopez. A minute to go in this round. Unless he can do likewise to Ross. Well, that's, that's always a possibility. How about that? I know, no sooner mentioned that he got cut in his last bout than, it, than he gets cut in this one. Yes. It's almost pathetic. But the, he, the fight appears to be shaping up as as the type of fight that uh, that Rossman could uh, take advantage of with explosive punches. However, Lopez is a pretty good fighter. Without a doubt, without a doubt. And he's been in with Theo. He's fought twice for the light heavyweight title against John Conti and against Victor Galindez. Going the limit each time. Now that's experience. I'm talking about Lopez. Yeah. But Rossman, as you can see, He's trying to place his punches, and when he does, right. he will have effect. He's got a great right hand. There's the bell ending round one. That was a good round. There'll be a little corner work on Lopez around that right eye. Bernie Casing, is the trainer, is, is uh, giving him a little application over there. It's, it's, not a, it's, it's just near the eye, I think, Cut. I don't think it's in the eye, Cut. It's hard to see it from here. It's on the opposite side. Maybe it's slightly on the forehead above the eye. And he was streaming down the face. Very patient handler, isn't he? He doesn't get flustered, this Bernie Casing. You know, he's, he's taking it calmly, cuz. Well, as you pointed out before, he's been cut before. <laughs> So it comes as no surprise, huh? Yes, that's right. It happened often enough where he could relax doing it. Here's round two. Mike Rossman in the blue trunks with the white stripe. Yaki Lopez in the red trunks. About this time in a fight, Lopez starts to open up a little bit, cuz. I'm not acquainted with Lopez. <laughs> And now Rossman's a bomber with the right hand, but so far he's been exclusively left hand. And, his left, and his left hook is, in, that's in, is destructive yeah. too. Oh, he's jabbing, and his, yet his best punch is his right. So that's, he's coming along, apparently. has not been able to get too close to Rossman so far. Have you noticed that, Cus? Yes. Probably failing him out a little more. 
less than I two think minutes. he's just trying to counter punch. Yeah, he counter punched him there. Now, Stoner, did you say it? Then he did it. Now, Lopez is a good hitter, too. He's got 22 knockouts and 42 bouts. And he was stopped once by a TKO on cut. Rossman has never been off his feet as an amateur or a pro. Rossman? Yep. And he's won 32, lost three with three draws. Two of the men who beat him, he KO'd in return bout. The other fellow wouldn't fight him again, they claim. Lopez is starting to apply a little pressure now. A minute to go in round two. Now Lopez is starting to move in. So far, the cut near the right eye of Lopez has not reopened. Half a minute to go in the round. Rossman holding back the right hand, waiting for a spot, apparently. This ain't a good boxing match, aren't we, Cus? Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, Rossman looks at his best when he's not being pressed. Good day. There's the bell, ending round two. Say, here's a real treat premiering Thursday, March 9th, on Home Box Office. Boxing's Greatest Champions, the best of the heavyweights, featuring sluggers Jack Dempsey and Joe Lewis and Joe Frazier, all great heavyweight champions, and the hosts, Kurt Gowdy and Larry Merchant. There's a program you're really going to like. Starting next Thursday, March 9th, on Home Box Office. There's the corner of Mike Rossman. Jimmy Robinson, his trainers on the outside. Ellie, Eddie Aliano, the cut man, is working with him. John Baskville on the outside. <laughs> Round three. Mike Rossman, the Jewish bomber. Yaki Lopez. Three. He got the name Yaki when he fought before an Indian tribe and they adopted him. He was a Mexican. Lopez in the red trunk. Starting to open up a little bit. starting to show a little respect for Lopez now, which he didn't have in the first two rounds. Good jab by Lopez. Both boys being sparing and using the right hand so far. Two minutes to go in round three. Rossman's hardly used it at all, Cus. Big right hand by Lopez. Pardon me, Cus. I was saying that uh, Rossman looks at his best when you let him alone. So he's capable of dropping in a bomb right in between the punches there. Lopez scoring well at this point. Proving a good counter puncher. Rossman using a fine jab. A minute to go in the round. Two fine light heavyweights there. Two of the best in the world. 
at Madison Square Garden Felt Forum, put together by matchmaker and president Teddy Brenner. Lopez has a slight cut near the left eye now. Now Rossman's starting to slug. And Lopez has him off balance. Seconds to go in the round. It's a good round for Lopez. He's got, he's got Rossman off balance mentally anyway. There's the bell. That was a turnabout cut. Yeah. <clears throat> it was. Now we're going to see a little uh, application to the area around the right eye of Lopez. I, I would say he's got a dim future if he's going to cut this easily, Cus. Well, I would agree. Or he has to improve his defense enough where these things don't happen so frequently. Well, uh, I don't think he can do much about it if he cuts that easily. And now that the right eye is being applied to again. Rossman there, when he was hit a particular punch, I think it was a right hand, wobbles for just a second. You know, I'm wondering about the condition of Rossman. He, he seems to be breathing hard over in his corner. See, see that, uh, Gus, is that normal the way he's breathing? It's normal when he reacts to pressure as he does. Round four. Here's round four. Ten rounder at the Felt Forum of Madison Square Garden. Two fine light heavyweights. Yaki Lopez from Stockton, California. A half a pound over the light heavyweight limit at 175 and a half. Mike Rossman, 171. the red trunks, Rossman in blue with the white stripes. <laughs> Rossman landed but then got countered hard with that left hook to the chin by Lopez. Lopez applying a lot of pressure now and I think it's bothering Rossman. Let's do this. To the body and then the head. And Lopez was seeing a good counter puncher against a bomber. Now, if Lopez doesn't get cut any worse, Cus, this is going to be quite a bout before it's over. So. Two good boys. And, and as you notice, he, now he's consistently pressing. And I'm sure he's now aware this is placing him at a good advantage. You mean Lopez? Lopez. Yes. And he's, he's throwing different types of punches. So he's, yes. got, he's got Rossman in trouble. He's mixing them up. And he's got Rossman off his game. Big round for Lopez so far. Lopez is streaming blood from around both eyes as Rossman connects good and hurts him. Half a minute to go in the round. Rossman comes back. After a weak start, but looks up at the clock to see how much time is left. About 20 seconds, Mike. Lopez is cut around both eyes. Aside from that, he's giving a good account of himself. He's having a big round here. Round almost over, the bell, and it ends in Lopez corner.
Bernie Casing, the trainer and cut man, goes to work again. Trying to locate, the, now this one's right above the eye, isn't it, Cus? It appears to the, be, The yes. uh, left eye. The first one was around the right eye and probably on the forehead. Let's see, uh, they're going to repeat one of the flurries there in that round, uh, Cus. Yaki Lopez is, is to us, opens up on You can see how he mixes up his punches, right? Oh, yes. And the thing that surprised me in that particular round was he reacted to punches. He came back fighting, which yes. in other fights I never saw him do. That's a good sign. Yes. Round five is scheduled for 10, and Lopez has to worry about getting cut. I don't mean cut, I mean cut. He's been cut near both eyes so far. Aside from that, he's held his own. Uh, this is the toughest fight Rossman has had. I would think so, yes. Even including Mike Quarry. I've seen him use so far. Lopez threw the bomb and it didn't land. Good counter punch by Lopez. There's that spot of blood coming down from around the left eye of Lopez. by Rossman following the left with one two I think uh, 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 Lopez was moving back so from it well he was for his sake he's making good use of his left hand with less than a minute to go in the round because both are standing up well under the punches I'm very much surprised at, uh, at the reaction of Rossman through the country. Really, I am. He's come back fighting. He's showing no loss of enthusiasm at all. Right. He's got Lopez against the rope. Fifteen seconds to go in the round. many rounds like that one will you you know you don't from a positive note on Mike Rossman what I like about him tonight we all knew he was a, a bomber with the right hand he's showing a good jab with the left and a good left hook as well which means he's much more polished a fighter now I think that that summer has, like, has done him a great deal of good whether this fight will do him any good is another question We'll know before it's over, or when it's over. Dr. Kleiman uh, took a quick look at Yaki Lopez and, and just let it go at a quick look, didn't say much. Both boys breathing hard. This has been a grueling fight, which is half over. It's scheduled for 10. Here is round six. Mike Rossman in the blue trunks. Yaki Lopez in red. 
something in mind. He's a good counter puncher, as we remarked earlier. And he's got quick hands. There it goes. Yep. He's got quick hands. See, there it goes again. Oh, I think he hurt him with that right. Yes, he did. Lopez has a good knack of shortening up on his punches when he has to. Less than two minutes to go in the round. Another sign of experience. Now, I guess you, when you get in close, cut, you can't throw them from way back. Now, Rossman is trying to be the counterpuncher. of the fight. We'll see what the effect is. That's right. Rossman is hurt, no question about it. Rossman is hurt over in his own corner, but he's game. He's game, all right. But a good deal, good deal of the sting has gone out of his punches now. One minute to go in round six, with Lopez very much in command. up at the clock to see how much time is left. 45 seconds in the round. Rossman is staggering a little bit. Sure. Trying to hold on. His knees are gone. I think that body blow did him damage. Rossman is really hurt. There he goes. There he goes. He's wobbling. There he goes. There he goes. They're going to stop it. No. The referee started to stop it. And then he stopped. He's going to stop it, I think. Why is he breaking them? He's breaking them and they're not even clinching, Cus. He's trying to figure out what the referee is doing. He's giving him a standing eight count. Ross, that's considered a knockdown. Rossman got a standing eight count. There's the bell. Rossman doesn't know where he is. That was a big round for Lopez. And the crowd doesn't like things the way they're happening. The, the doctor, Harry Kleinman, is now in the corner. The doctor is in the corner of Mike Rossman looking at him. Now the doctor's coming over to Lopez's corner. Takes a quick look at the eyes. Apparently they're all right. He's back to Rossman's corner again. Rossman did not consider continue that round in good shape. Everybody's in the corner now. The doctor, the referee. Rossman took a standing eight count. And a brutal beating, I might add. He is in bad shape. I don't think he can go on. They're stopping That's what the I fight. Thought. The fight is being stopped. I think they've done a wise thing. Yaki Lopez is the winner after six rounds. A victory for Yaki Lopez. A fine light heavyweight making his bow in New York. And Cus, I'll say this. Till that bout ended, there have not been many fights better than that in the state of New York. I agree. I agree. We'll get the official result from, from uh, Jack Lee, the ring announcer. And I'm going to let Cus do a little talking while I can go up and see if I can get Yaki on the phone here. Just a minute. The thing that impressed about uh, Lopez today was the way he finished up this man. Once he had him hurt, he never let him go. He just followed up punch after punch until he put him in the shape that I thought the referee was going to stop. The referee apparently decided to give him a chance to recover by giving him an eight count. Now, this is an unusual action on the part of the referee.